Hello children how are you all welcome to online edu classes today we are going to discuss chapter number 3 advanced features of excel children in this chapter we are going to learn chart and its components some commonly used chart types creating and formatting a chart using spark lines etc so now let us begin chart is an effective way to display data in a pictorial form charts makes it easier to draw comparison and analyze growth relationship and trends among the values in a range there are various types of charts which is available in excel children you can click on to the insert tab and in the chart group you can find all types of charts here we can have column chart a bar chart and some more charts like line chart area chart also pie chart and donut charts along this we have a spark lines also now let us see how to create a chart children it is quite simple to create a chart in excel follow these steps create a new worksheet with the data as shown here and now select the range of cells including the column heading and row labels to be displayed in the chart now click on to insert tab In the chart groups select the column drop down menu and now you can select the chart type whichever you like let us take the simple 2d column chart you can even resize the size of the chart according to your requirement and even place it anywhere in the worksheet now when you click on to chart you can see children the two tabs named as design and format appear under the chart tool category on the ribbon the tabs consist of various options for editing and formatting the chart click on to the design tab in the chart style group and you can find the available design for your chart you can select any of the chart designs and you can see it will be automatically applied to the chart type that you have created in the worksheet now let us include some chart elements you can add excel title data series chart title legend grid lines and any other components of the chart whatever you require click on to the chart and at your right corner side you can see a plus cursor you just need to click on to this plus cursor to include all the elements of chart in the chart here you can see the chart title check box is already checked so now let us give the chart title as marks of the students or else we can give the title as term marks of the students so 
here is the chart title which we have added to the chart children the chart title is the title which describes the aim and the content of the chart now let us include the another component that is axis title children axis titles are the headings which is given to the x axis and y axis the titles helps in understanding what is being depicted on the axis so here you can see in the y axis the marks of the subjects are given so here we can give the heading as marks of the subjects similarly in the x axis we can give the title as students name now as you can see we have given the axis title in the chart now let us include the another component that is data labels children data labels are the labels which is applied to the every column in the chart which displays the labels of the data that you have entered in the sheet you can see the columns are labeled with the marks of the students in various subjects let us include the another component that is data table data table consists of a table that you have already created in the worksheet here you can see once you check on the data table the table you can find it under the column chart group so now let us include the another component that is legends and grid lines let me tell you what is grid lines these lines can be either horizontal or vertical lines depending on the selected chart type they extend across the plot area of the chart grid lines makes it easier to understand and read the values you can include major and minor grid lines in your chart similarly legends legends also a component of chart which shows the color pattern and symbol assigned to the data series so children you can see these are the legends which you which is there in the right corner side of the chart so these all are the various components of the chart that you can apply in the chart and now let me show you how to apply formatting effects in chart formatting improves the appearance of a chart we can format a chart by adding title changing the text font line color width border style and even we can also change the backgrounds colors with different patterns and fill effects now let us see how we can modify a ch chart by changing its color pattern and background
when you click on to format chart area option you will get following option in the chart you can select solid fill to apply any solid color in your chart even you can select the gradient fill option to select more than one colors and that can be applied to the chart to give a gradient effect in your chart similarly if you want a picture or texture pattern in your chart you can select the pattern or the texture whichever you like for your chart so children as you can see whenever i select any picture or texture pattern it is automatically set as the background of the chart even you can apply any pattern fill effects in the chart by selecting the color pattern and choosing the pattern of your choice so children these all are the various option which you can use to change the background color and pattern in your chart now after this you can even change the location of the chart for this you need to click on design tab and select the option move chart from the location group after this a dialog box will appear which will ask where you want to place this chart and in which sheet so you can select the sheet from the chart whichever sheet you want to change the location of the chart and you will see that the chart is changing its location after clicking on to the okay button now let us see how to use spark lines in excel spark lines are mini charts that fit into a single worksheet cell to provide the visual representation of the data these can be used to analyze the trends in your data once the spark lines are added further options can be accessed through the spark line tab there are three types of spark lines that is line column and win loss follow these steps to include spark lines in the data for this you need to select the range of cell and after this click on to insert tab in this spark line groups select the line spark line now choose where you want the spark lines to be placed by just selecting the cells after this you need to click on okay button you will see the spark lines will be added in your data sheet you can make changes in the style and color of the spark line by selecting any style from the style group and spark line color drop down menu that is in the design tab so this is how we can change the color of the spark line and even we can modify the look of the spark line so i hope children today the things which we have discussed is pretty much clear to everyone so i hope you will also try the same activity at your home till the time explore the more charts and the types in your worksheet keep practicing thank you and have a nice day